as I mentioned, API client class should be I disposable or it has to implement I disposable interface. As we know, REST Sharp internally use HTTP client. So to dispose wrapped HTTP client instance, we have to use this I disposable, which has this method dispose. So before implementing API client, let us go and create a separate class which will be responsible for our endpoints where or in other terms I can say all my endpoints will be listed here. All right. So the first endpoint which I can take is API users. So public static and I would make it as a read only a string and I can say create user. API, now I can say API users. Make sure these forward slashes, if you're adding here, don't use in the base URL at the end. Okay, and I can copy this to add other endpoints. So I can say update user. Delete user. Get single user. And get list of users and those endpoints i can just so create create user already we have now we can have the update users so for update users we need at the end user id we need to pass the user id so what i can say I can pass it as URL parameter, okay? And this uh, we have to, so this is syntax is, if we, if we need to pass some dynamic value, so what we have to do, we have to pass mention in the curly braces and the, the parameter which we need to pass. So we just need to remember this. Same with the delete user. I think we need to pass the ID, right, to delete the user. So th this endpoint will also look very similar. ID. To get the single user, again, we need to pass the user ID. So curly braces ID. And we don't need to have the IDs here, but for I think create user ID is different. Let's see. Okay, no issue. It's API users and API users too. So that's fine. So this way I can manage all my endpoints in a separate class, which will be easier for if there will be any modifications in future. Let us move to API client. First thing which we need 
is client. All right, so what we can say, we can, I will mark this risk client as a read only. rest client now i can say client i will instantiate in the constructor okay and i can pass this uh, base url from wherever I'm creating the instance of this class. So I can say string base URL. And as we discussed, a lot of client option has been moved to the options rest client options class. We are going to use this. So new rest client options. And it has three overloaded constructor. So I can pass base URL here. Okay. And while creating client instance, I'll pass this option. Okay. So rest client options here. Okay, so along with if our client requires authentication, which we'll see how we can implement the authentication here. 